Serena LA, 37, a property manager, two children. I boo. So what kind of man are you looking for? I need a man like Drake or better. Like Drake? Or better. Drake the rapper? Aubrey Drake Graham. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you say like Drake, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna specify. Do you mean like Drake as in success? Do you mean as mm -hmm. like Drake as an appearance? Or do you mean both? Yep. Both. Wow. So who was more successful and looks better than Drake? Oh, that's a good question. That's a good question. I mean, because think about it. You said you want to you said you want a man like Drake or better. Or better. So, mm -hmm. so, so Drake is the actual the lowest bar. Cause that's the lowest you'll go. Yes. Have, I mean, you live in LA. You never ran into him. Drake is really. Actually, a I'm glad you asked, Kendra. See, I'm only gonna answer your questions now. I'm not gonna just tell you everything, but I have. And believe, believe it or not, I have. Like, I don't know if I can only put a hand on the Bible. I will tell some stories. I'd above this to a man three times, and he actually has attempted. So that's why my confidence is so high. Cause I've been in his same circles, and he has tried. What's up, guys? Boogie back again. So, guys, this lady on Kendra G's show apparently wants a man who's like drake or better so she's probably either talking about uh a billionaire who's an entertainer but we don't have so many of those so apparently drake hit on her three times but she didn't get his number she never ever went out with any man with, with him right but in that time she has not met another drake and she's looking for a man who's like drake or even better for me as an average man if i ever approach this woman she wouldn't give me any time of the day why because drake has talked to her so now she deserves she thinks she deserves a man like drake let's get into it let's go well it's so i you see sarkita but it's zarina you know zarina zarina got... from philly no ma'am um from where, from where? The one, i was remember the one drake or better Oh, Drake, Drake or better. <laughs> yes, girl. Okay. okay. You know, you was a viral girl. As I should be. As I, <laughs> as I deserve. Okay. So, if you don't, okay. So, if you don't remember, you look a little different tonight. You said, I'm coming to let the people know. Because well, I guess they didn't know. They that, okay. You. So, when you were here the last time, I asked you what kind of man you want. And you said, Drake or better. Then we got, and, and then at the very end, you broke down that Drake tried to talk to you at least on three occasions. This is Arena LA, 37, mm -hmm. a property manager, two children. I will. So what kind of man are you looking for? I need a man like Drake or better. Like Drake? Or better. Drake the rapper? Aubrey Drake Graham. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you say like Drake, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna specify. Do you mean like Drake as in success? Do you mean as mm -hmm. like Drake as an appearance? Or do you mean both? Yep. Both. So wow. who was more successful and looks better than Drake? Oh, that's a good question. That's a good question. I mean, because think about it. You said you want to you said you want a man like Drake or better or better so, so, so drake is the actual the lowest bar because that's the lowest you'll go yes Have, i mean you live in la you never ran into him drake is really actually a i'm glad you asked kendra see i'm only gonna answer your questions now i'm not gonna just tell you everything but i have and believe believe it or not i have like i don't know if i want to put a hand on the bible i will tell some stories i'd above this to a man three times and he actually has attempted so that's why my confidence is so high because i've been in his same circles and he has tried it just so what happened and you didn't get his number so guys this is what happens when um whenever a woman is approached is talked to or is taken out on dates by a man who has money or a man who has status a man who's famous it's over for the next guy i'm telling you it's over for the average guys because if I try to talk to her, she would never even give me a chance because I'm not Drake. I'm nothing like Drake. I'm not even half of Drake. So her standards are here because she has talked to Drake. So she expects a Drake kind of guy. 
Now, some of you guys are going to say she's delusional. Sure, maybe, maybe she's delusional. Because if there were so many Drakes, she would have had one by now, right? She couldn't get the real Drake. She wants a Drake or better. Another man who's like Drake. If there are so many Drakes out here, she would have one, right? But the thing is, once she talked to Drake, once Dr Drake talked to her, she's never ever going to give a man like me a chance. She's never going to give an average man a chance. Until... Cause it's okay. She may ha she may want she can want and and request and ask for and have all these preferences. But obviously, reality at some point kicks in. Remember? No, Kendra. Oh my God! I'm gonna tell the truth and shame my fucking soul. Okay, I'm gonna just put it out there. The first time I saw him, I was with my ex. Okay. In Houston, I was with my ex, and we were still together. I was driving my drunk ex home in his Mercedes Benz. Drake was on the side, pulled up next to me, tried to holler, but I had my ex on the right. I was just loyal, loyal to a fault, Kendra. Well, so you had your baby car. daddy in the car, so you couldn't do anything then. Yeah, no, this is my ex boyfriend. This one was my, not my baby daddy. Oh, your ex boyfriend. This was just well, if you're driving his car, no, that moment that wasn't a good moment. So right. you, had to, you had to honor that moment. Now, what's the what's the what's the second time? <sighs> the second time. Wait, wait, real quick. Was your boyfriend asleep? Yeah. Yeah, and Drake was trying to get me in the window, and I, my respect did not let me roll that window down. Honest to God, that okay. I so I'm a good woman. Time. I'm a good woman. That's a good quality about me. I don't care who I'm with, even if the man of my dreams is right there. I'm loyal. I'm who I'm with is who I'm with. What's the second Drake story? Oh, okay. Um, the second time, oh, in Las Vegas. So, me and my girlfriend was out. He had a little event. I was trying. I actually put myself in the right place at the right time, just trying to see if he would even choose me. Like, what did he even come? And he has. He has. Um, the second time I was, uh, it was a actually it was a concert in Dallas for Halloween. His Halloween concert. This was like 2010. Mind you, I'm 37. So yeah, this this was a long time ago. Um, and I was dressed as the Little Mermaid. I was the first Black Little Mermaid in these Dallas streets. I was with everybody. Wait, she was 37 2010? I'm not even going to try to do the math on how old she is. But do you see why I said once a man of status or money talks to a woman, she's going to want that kind of man going forward? Now, whether she gets a man or not is a different story. But I'm going to say, I'm not surprised that Drake talked to her. She's a good-looking woman. She's a beautiful woman. I'm not surprised that Drake talked to her. She, she's good-looking. I will talk to her too as well. But I'm not Drex, so I guess it's never going to work out. Baby, if you know, I think y'all know you were your personalities. Hey, baby. baby. I know, baby. I was black I know, baby. He tried to come for me. He tried wait, to come for me. Wait, so I missed that. I talked over you. What did you say? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, no, he came for me. Like, he was like, I bought me to tell him, like, like, who is she? Like, he was, he, he, I had his attention. Um, and he was like, come here. But it was too thick. I couldn't even move through the room. It was too thick that night. It was a, after a Halloween concert. <laughs> And um, but my girlfriend kind of messed it up first because she was really mean to one of his entourage buddies. So he was like, "Nope, your homegirl got a bad attitude. Nope, nope, nope." So my homegirl kind of like killed the shot that I had with him that night, Halloween in Dallas. And that was your third one, Billy. Um, the third one was when I uh, he had a, a Dallas concert. I was with my girlfriend and his dad chose me and my girlfriend to hang out with at a nightclub after the concert. Oh, I'm just bearing my little soul right now, ain't I? Look, I'm, I'm gonna just give it to you then. <laughs> give you the tea. But um, yeah, he um we were in the club again. It was a nightclub. Me and I actually went in the club with his dad. His dad was like, You're cool, you can come. I was like, okay, well shit, cool. His dad had saw me give away uh tickets to his show, and then he was like, Man, you cool for that. Like, just come through. And I was like, I went. With Drake's dad, shout out Dennis Graham, and we was in the club, and um, yeah, another little act of blind loyalty to the dude Drake Aubrey on the humble note, Aubrey Graham. Um, his daddy was like trying to spit a shot at me, and I was like, no, sir, I'm sorry, I got to thank for your son, and mm -mm. and I and it was that he was like, oh, too bad. <laughs> okay, all right, so there you have it. Okay, this is your update. So give me the update, girl. Okay, so I just came back from your city. I was trying, I touched down in your city. I met a wonderful, wonderful man. I believe he's better than Drake. Um, and he flew me to your city, girl. I was better than Drake. He better have Drake's money.
and as famous as Drake. I was there and I was trying to contact you to come support the Christmas event. He flew me to your city. And um, I just want to say, I love Chicago. Chicago is the bomb. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. So the guy saw you on this show and he flew you from, where, now where are you calling us from again, Serena? Texas. Texas. So tell me, did he see you on the show? Yeah. Okay, so tell me how that happened. So he saw you, he DM'd you, what happened? Oh, first of all, I got so many DMs. So I just had to pray through the DMs and be like, come on, Lord, just whoever is going to know. Come on, I prayed through, stuff through, and I was like, let me respond. I took a week to look through and responded to one who was decent, who approached me appropriately. Um, and he, I honestly say, I say, he, he's the bomb. And and so and he offered to fly, so he paid for you to come to Chicago to meet him. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah. Look at you. He took care of the flight. He took care of me very well. It was really romantic. It was wonderful. Um, I do believe it was the wrong time for us to probably meet. It was, uh, but I mean, he's a cat. He's a big fish. Um. He's a big fish. <laughs> so are you guys staying in touch? Uh, I don't think I'm for him as much as I would have loved to have been. Um. Well, okay, so what did not... Oh guys, this is crazy. All right, she comes on the show talking about she wants a man who's like Drake or better. She gets a man who's better than Drake, and then she talks about he took care of me, he's a catch, and then uh, he's known for me. Like, seriously, guys. And this is why I say an average man like me can never have a chance with her. So if a guy who was better than Drake, in her words, is not for her, what about me? Or maybe, just maybe. She's not meant to have a man who's like Drake or better. And she's supposed to have a man like me. Baby slide in my DM. Let's talk about this. Because if the men who are flying you out and spending money on you and taking care of you are not for you, maybe, just maybe it's a sign from God that you're supposed to be with me, with a man like me. Maybe it's not me, but with an average man like me. How about that? Guys, I'm telling you, like, God gave her everything she was asking for. And it wasn't enough. Crazy. Crazy world. Okay. Why are you not for him? Um good question. Why am I not for him? That's a good question. Like See? I just got, he's so busy. He's a successful man, so he's very busy. And that's a good question. I, I, I But what do you expect for with a man like Drake? He's touring all the year throughout the year. He's always in the studio. He always has concerts. He has deals, business deals. He has to be in every city, almost all working with different artists. Like, you can't ask for a man who's like Drake or better than Drake making that much money and you expect him to just be with you all the time. He's going to be busy. He's not, he's not rich for not being busy. The reason he's rich and even big fish, like you said, is because he's working all the time. Okay, so how do you expect a man like Drake or better to have all the time in the world for you. He will have the money for you, but the time won't be there. I want to ask him, but he's so busy. So is this something that you would like to continue to pursue? Um, I, I think so. If he's still if he's still into me and can handle me, because I was probably too much for him. But you know, busy men don't have time to explain. And I do know that he is Duh. dating another woman. Okay. respectfully he's dating another woman so um i'm hoping that he's getting rid of her just trying to make space for me now that we've met and our chemistry was good <laughs> okay so you liked him yeah i do okay okay yeah. okay however okay. i'm still single girl hold on i'm still single though. <laughs> okay, so you, want, you, you want to put it out there again oh uh, yeah i do i do want to put it so out. do you want to respond to any you know there's so many drake comments so do you have oh. a response to all the people <laughs> Who thought you were camping? Who didn't understand if Drake tried to talk to you three times? Why didn't you try to just pursue Drake? Like, what is your response to all the people? Because they had a lot to say about you. Huh? They did. Aren't they did. And you know what? I want to say people could be so, so ugly. And, and they assume and they run off without information. That's real ignorant. I've done that too. So I forgive all the negative bitches and haters. You know, I get that. I'm sure you get it all the time. But Drake happen to see it do we know did you go to his dm so i look I've, I've been in the man's dms he don't respond to me um so i look drake holla if you hear me <laughs> are you still open to him if of course drake is never going to respond to you because he's a star there's so many women just like you in his dms maybe even better looking right because how can you say you had three chances 
talking with Drake and you never took it further and now you're trying to hit him in, in his DMs, right? Very few women have the chance to even be in Drake's presence. So if you had the chance and you really wanted him, you would have been direct with him and be like, hey, I want to hang out with you or something, right? But for he, for you to have a chance to be in his presence and then way to get in his DMs, that doesn't work. You lost your chance. And now God brought you a man who's better than Drake and still he's not good enough for you. If he comes around, oh yeah, if he come, I told. Look, I said I meant it. Even if I'm in a relationship, they're gonna have to understand. I'm gonna need a hall pass for Drake. Like he's my dream guy. Wow. He's who I want. Who's who I like. Um, however, if I might not be for him, I might yeah. not be for him. So I still have to keep my options open. And um, and I'm really guys. She just said it. She said even if she's in a relationship. You as the man who's better than Drake, you have to understand that if Drake finally shoots his shot at her again, she will cheat with Drake. And you as a man, you have to understand even if you're better than Drake. All right. So she just gave you so many red flags, but she also gave you a warning. All right. So guys, I'll link down below the full video if you guys want to go complete it. But this just goes to show that once a woman ever gets in touch or talked to or be in the presence of a man who's going to spend the money and the man who's famous you as the average guy watching this you and me are all down for like she's never going to give you a shot she's always going to be chasing that kind of man now whether she gets him or not is a different story but she's always going to want the kind of man is it fair i don't know i don't really care but i just wanted to review this so you guys see that some women want Drake or even better. And if they get a man who's better than Drake, maybe he's also not enough for them. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Peace.